So let's see. Okay, I'm on the right path. Look, I just told your friend not to spit on me. I'm wearing a green leather jacket. It was expensive. I don't want to pay a dry cleaning bill. And so we can check out this lovely mobile home here. Though, all we seem to have in here is a save point, and a bit of a memo. There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. James, that clearly said Bar Neely's, not Neely's Bar. But really, that's all there is to do in here. Basically, just a point of reference, really. This particular path, yeah, we're not going that way for now. <laughs> oh, gods, I love this weapon. The ability to run psychotic flailing circles around your opponent, that's just too fun. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Uh, got across the intersection, okay. And along the way, we find another first aid kit. They certainly want us to be prepared, and I'm fine with that. But for now, time to check out the bar. Welcome to a place where no one knows your name. But there's a map here. What's that symbol at the end of Martin Street? I suppose we're going to go there and find out. The Woodside apartment also seems to be important. There's nothing else really in here, except for perhaps the most cryptic message in all of Silent Hill. There was a hole here. It's gone now. This drove my mum crazy. Me as well, really. What's the point of this message? Who knows? Anyway, let's move on. So we have a dead-end street to go check out. Nice to have a destination in mind, anyway. James used flail. It's super effective. That bizarre squealing sound is a returning enemy from the first game, the Creeper. That's those annoying little roaches. Now, they do make life hard for the plank. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Never know if they're hiding health drinks from me or something. Hi there! Let's just go ahead and take care of you so you don't cause any problems. And there, problem solved. Oh, hey there, buddy. You kind of caught a bad case of dead. Mind if I just borrow this key from you? So yes, that's what the mark was telling us, was that we needed to come here to get a key for the apartments. There's still some things we can go check out first.
Come on, James, put some muscle into it. Here in this little alcove, we can find... a box of handgun bullets. For a gun we don't have yet. Yay. And we also get yet another first aid kit. Get the feeling the game's trying to tell you you're going to get hit a lot. Doesn't seem to want to get up and play. Oh, but you do. Oh sure, now that you have a friend you want to get up. That is one problem, is auto-aiming. It still wanted to aim at the one that was down on the ground instead of the one that was up and spitting at me. But both problems are now taken care of. There's a memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. From the looks of it, yeah. A torn memo page is on the ground. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain, but my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. How pessimistic. If you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim, and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. Run away. Run away! Run away! Run away! If only he had a plank, he'd still be alive! So really, that's all there is in this area of major interest. So, we may as well head for the apartments. Just a quick jaunt from here. Much like the first game, there's no real point to killing everything you come across in the overworld, as it were. So we may as well just ignore these guys and just head on in here for now. Thanks to our borrowed key, we can get in. It's a fairly wide area in here, but there's not much for us to look at just yet in that direction. So let's just go ahead and go in here. In here, we can find a nice bit of a stash. First, another health drink. Always nice to have those on hand. And we almost immediately get the map. We have a map of the apartment building. Wonderful! And we also find another save point. And I think this is pretty much a good place to go ahead and cut it for now. So let's just go ahead and save our game here. We've saved at the apartment building southwest staircase. So with that, I think we're going to call it here for now, and we'll come back to the... What was it? Wood Creek Apartments? No, it's Blue Creek Apartments. Bah! Whatever. We'll come back to the apartments next time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos. And I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.